everybody. Um, I wanted to show you an at-home workout, something I've been researching and playing around with a little bit are slow, controlled, static exercises. Um, done a little bit of research and I've found that they're one of the best ways to increase strength and definition in your body. It's a form of resistance training if you can't get to weights because you're using isometric holds as well as your own body strength. So I'm going to show you these exercises and obviously this is your exercise. You know, you make it what you need it to be for your level. You know, if you can either make moves or make excuses. So the first one is called a V-up and it's, it's very difficult to do, but I worked my way up to it. And how you start a V-up is a boat hold, which is like this. This is a boat hold. And then from here, that's a V-up and they're hard to do. Let me do another one. There we go. That's a V-up. Okay, so the goal is to hold <laughs> the last one, which I can't do without resetting. So on that first exercise, what I did was I did 10 V-ups and then I held this V-up hold for 10 seconds. Then the second exercise, which you can probably hear playing in the background is the Sally Up, Sally Down song. And a lot of people use this for push-ups, and that's what I'm gonna use it for today. Your, your hands are tar turned in a little bit, but they're still under your shoulders. Now you're gonna go out 45 degrees. You're not gonna go back. The first time I did these, I went back and it kind of hurt my elbows. So every time the song says Sally up, you're up. Every time it says Sally down, you're down. And you're holding it until they say Sally up again. And then you go up, Sally down. Hear it? And I was able to do eight of those, and that was it. Um, then we're gonna do a side plank. And because I have to get to the chiropractor, I'm a little bit crooked, and these are a little bit difficult. But you get into a side plank, holding those abdominals, and you're gonna do 10 leg lifts without letting the leg touch. And when you get to the 10th one, you're gonna hold it up for 10 seconds. And then when you're done, you do the other side, 10 leg lifts, 10 holds. Then we're gonna do a plain sit up, any, any particular way you want, legs down, bent up, doesn't matter. The key with sit ups is your head is straight, your chin is not here, you cut off breathing. It's not a neck up, it's a chin, it's a sit up. So you're just pulling your shoulders up off the ground and back down, but don't let them touch. And I think I did 25, slow, hold when you come up, and then on the last one, you hold this position for 25 seconds. You just hold it, head straight up, hold it, hold it, and then release. And then the next, the next one is a Sally up, Sally down squat. So what you're gonna do is get kind of a wide squat, squat back and deep and low, okay? Make sure your pelvic is tilted forward, your shoulders are back, you're not arching your back, but your back is straight. You're gonna hold this squat for 30 seconds. At the end of 30 seconds, you're gonna come up, shake it out, bring your legs a little closer, squat down, not as deep. Your, your hands and gum behind your head. Again, pelvic is tilted forward, and you're gonna do slow and controlled movements one to one, that's one. So you're gonna do one on each side, one on each side, that's two, keeping your back straight. The last one is a plank hip dip, or I call them a plank hip dip. Now, with a low plank, everybody gets into a low plank, and the first thing they do is grip their hands. Well, the research I've done said this is a proper plank. Your hands, your palms are face up, is my back straight? Yes. Straight back. Now, you're gonna dip to one side, hold it for two, dip to the other, hold it for two. So it'll be one, two, one, two. And then when you get to the end of your reps, you're gonna hold the right side for five seconds, hold the left side for five seconds, hold the center plank for 10 seconds. And I think I did, I did 15 of those. And then hold five, hold five, and then I held the center 10. So that's six exercises that you guys can give a try at home, whatever level. If you have any questions, PM me. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Eat well, everybody.